Aries. Hi guys, welcome to Cheap Tea Spiritual Guide. This is your weekly love reading for May 25th through the 31st. Okay, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you are feeling my vibe, if I resonate with you. Okay, or if you just think I'm cool like that, go ahead <laughs> and like and, and hit the like button. All right, let's get into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Universe, Source, what messages of love do you have for Aries? Giving them guidance, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, enlightenment, and truth. Truth for healing, freedom, clarity, and peace of mind. All right. Please keep in mind, I could be doing this reading for a cross -watcher. Okay. Uh, your love interest. The person you're watching this video for. Um, so take it how it resonates. Don't force it to fit your side of the story. All right. Alrighty, that should be it. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, Aries, the underlying energy here is the Eight of Cups. That is walking away from something, feeling like it's time. Leaving, leaving things behind, okay? Searching for something better, going in a better direction. Alright, Eight of Cups. So... What can you expect to happen this week? I'm going to do a 10 card spread and then I'll let you know what comes up. Ooh, okay. Wow. And I'm going to clarify these further. Okay. All right. So. This could be you, Knight of Wands, was fire energy, or you could be doing dealing with a fellow, uh-oh, fire sign, okay? Um, your perspective is changing with something. You could have, um, there could be like, um, some other, like a third party entity in your life and you're wanting to follow that passion. Like there's another person you could want to be following it and it could be a risk that you're willing to take. Um, but I do see you are having a different outlook on whatever this other person or thing is because you do have some mental clarity like there's no confusion here um you are trying to be patient with giving to this person because i think you are in a situation you are trying to escape from like you're wanting to be independent you want us to do things on your own there could also be a delay with you going toward this person um yeah it's like you're waiting for something to happen. You could have missed or feel like you've missed an opportunity with um, whoever this third per party energy is. I think this is a third party, a, a third person. Okay. And you you're you're looking at things differently. This could also represent a, a delay in movement but I don't get that too much I get you're trying to improve something look at it differently because you have a new perspective okay there's something here you're no longer confused about the temperance Sagittarius energy I think you want to give to this other person Let's clarify. Um, what is the energy of the Knight of Wands? What is the energy of the Knight of Wands? Thank you. The Knight of Swords. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You could be pursuing this other person. Let's see. What's the energy of the Three of Cups? Okay. A King of Pentacles. All right. That is a Taurus energy. Taurus, Arrow, that's you. 
that's also your your I mean I don't know if this is you but that's your that's an Aries card um, why did Ari why did the King of Pentacles come out? Oh yeah, okay. Eight of Swords. Again, I think this is third party energy. So if you are in a relationship, there's another person who has piqued your interest. I think you want to go toward them, but you're stuck. I think you're stuck in something. Why the hangman? What is the energy of the hangman? Okay. Yeah, I get this waiting. Um, I think you're stuck in another relationship. <laughs> um, because here's like you want to be independent. Here's like you giving to another person. This is like you're wanting to escape that. Whatever you're in. And be independent. Here I feel like. You're planning, strategizing with the Three of Wands. Um, you're moving forward for sure. And here's like an offer, a love offer. So you're moving in that direction. You're not moving very quickly. Like it is taking some time. But you're going, you're moving. Um, let's see what type of clarity you have. Why is it Ace of Swords here for Aries? Okay, the Strength card, a Leo. Maybe something something wasn't very easy for you. Why is the strength card here? Something requires courage, strength for you to be strong, for you to take control. Why is the strength card here? No. Okay. Why is the strength card here? There we go. Okay. There, Knight of Wands again with the Two of Cups. Something feels like you need to take control of this situation. We have the temperance Sagittarius energy. That's about finding balance. You you could be out of balance trying to do things in moderation. Even though you want to rush and do it like aggressively pursue this third party you're not doing that's what you want to do but you're not doing that i think you know temperance is the best way to go let's see why why is why why is the six of pentacles here what's the energy of the six of pentacles what is the energy of the six of pentacles okay i think oh the six of cups tried to come out okay so we have the tower um why is the tower here why is the tower here? Why do I feel like you are... Is it Page of Wands? Why do I feel like you're going to drop a bomb on somebody? Why is the Page of Wands here? Why is the Page of Wands here? I really, I get that pretty strongly. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Ace of Swords, Temperance. Repeated cards. Ace of Swords, Temperance. Ace of Swords, Temperance. I get, I feel like you're gonna, you are. Like you could be dropping a load on someone. Not, and I'm not talking about in the restroom. <laughs> like you might drop something pretty significant. Like some information like, hey, I'm leaving you, or hey, I want to be with you. Like, something big. Um, again, I think you've realized something with the temperance, but it's going to be done um, in moderation. Like, you're not going to... I don't think you're... I. Okay, how can I explain this? I think you're going to come to someone... It's going to be huge, but... I don't think you're going to just go rushing in like the Knight of Swords. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think you're going to be more like milder, like the more of the Knight of Wands. Like, you know, he's quick, but he doesn't go rushing in. He's not too slow. So this information could be coming to this person. You could be trying to do that this week. 
interesting interesting okay let's put that back um let's clarify the seven of swords because i think you're trying to get out of something like abandon it why is the seven of swords what's the energy of the seven of swords yep oh you sure are aries chariot you're you're trying to leave a situation that you're in because you want your own independence you want to do your own thing have your own money live in your own home Why the seven of pentacles? But there's this weight thing here I do get. What's up with the seven of uh, pentacles? What's up with the seven of pentacles? What's up with the seven of pentacles? Page of cups. I don't know if that's supposed to be reversed or not. Let's try it again. Um... Why is the seven, what's the energy of the seven of pentacles? What is the energy of the seven of pentacles? Yeah. Okay. Taking a leap of faith, starting something new. I think you're waiting to do this. Maybe you're, you need to have a conversation with this person that you're with. But I'm not going to take, I don't know if this came out reversed or not. Um... Or was supposed to be reversed because it came out sideways. But uh, something is telling me you want you need to talk to this person. Like you need to tell them. And I only say that because if this is in the reverse, like you you don't have you don't you don't feel I don't know like you don't feel very secure with doing this. Why the full card? Why the full card? Why the full card? Thank you. Dang, the four of cups. Literally, so many repeated cards. Four of cups. Four of cups here. Like, I feel like you want to move toward this third party. But you need to get out of this situation that you're in first. And I think you feel like you're missing an opportunity right now. Why, why is the Four of Cups here? That's what I'm getting, guys. The wheel. Yes, the wheel in the reverse. So there, someone is influencing you. I think this third party is influencing this. Why is the wheel reversed? Why is the wheel reversed? You got it. Okay, this came out already. What the heck, Aries? The Three of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles? This is you, again, planning. You're, you're not moving very fast, but someone is influencing you to do this. This third party, I feel like, is influencing you to get out of this situation that you're in. Let's get your advice. But this is what what's happening this week. I think you're still planning, strategizing, trying to build up some courage to tell whoever you're in a relationship with that you are out. I get moving on. Look, I have the Eight of Cups. Oh, man. You're for sure trying to leave a relationship. Eight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles long term somebody you've been with for a long time could be married um the oh my god six of swords is even at the bottom of this deck if you're not moving on i don't know what to say you're you're totally moving on you're trying to move on aries wow look six of swords there's the four of wands oh my god we have the death card scorpio like you're not even trying to fix anything you're not trying to renew anything it's like i just need I, I know what i want that's the clarity this is the ace of swords it's like you know what you want there's no confusion i'm super decisive right now i just need to find the courage to do this all right let's get your advice darlings wow okay 
had a reading like this. One of the other signs had a reading just like this um, last week. And I was like, dang, like, can you move on any harder? Like, this, this person was like, I'm moving on, moving on. All right, so let's get your advice, Spirit. What advice do you have for Aries in regards to this love situation that they're in? What do you advise Aries to do? What's your advice? What's Aries' advice when it comes to this love situation? Can I get one card, Spirit? One card. Okay, well, I don't get one. I get two. <laughs> There's that Seven of Swords. It's haunting me in your reading. Seven of Swords, High Priestess, Seven of Swords. So, dang, I feel like this is, I feel like Spirit is saying, get out of there. Like, have an escape. Like, get out of there. Abandon the ship. Whatever you're in, get out. I'm going to clarify to make sure, but I think with the High Priestess there, it's like, get out of this, but don't, you don't have to tell this person where you're going. You don't have to tell them, this is where I'm going, this is what I'm doing, here's my forwarding address, you know, this is how you can keep in touch with me. I don't think you should be doing that. Like, secretly. I, you know, I don't think there's a, dang, that would have to be another whole, like, a whole nother reading on the person you're with, because that. For spirit to tell you to, to abandon ship, to get out of there secretly, like don't don't disclose anything. Let's just see what's up with the seven. What's the energy of the seven of swords for Aries advice? What is the seven of swords? Why is the seven of swords here for Aries advice? The fool, the fool and the reverse um i think you are hesitant like you are I, I do get that you're you have some you're hesitant to do this why is the fool here that's why spirit is saying telling you to do it yeah you got to move on from the past this in whoever you're with the six of cups reverse is moving on from the past six of cups reverse yeah, Six of Cups is moving on from the past. You gotta, it's time to move on. Get out of there. You're hesitant to move on. Why is the Six of Cups reversed? Why is the Six of Cups reversed? Why is the Six of Cups reversed? Thank you. Yeah, again, I keep, I'm telling you, this Seven of Swords is haunting this reading. Listen, you got, it's, it's time to be independent. Again, we got the Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Four of Cups. It's time to be independent, like get out of there. You have to do something on your own. I think you you probably have been with this person for so long. You're so used to them being there that that's why you're hesitant because I don't even think you want to be there. Like you've, you've met someone, right? Or you've gone back to someone, however, take it how it resonates, right? So this current energy relationship you're in, like you don't even want to be there. Someone else, it's like someone else is showing you what relationships should be, what love should be, what happiness looks like. Because you wouldn't be wanting to even leave if someone else wasn't showing up your current relationship. Like there, you could miss out on this. I think you, Spirit is telling you, you need to act like there's a, there's an energy here of being quick. What's the, why is the high priestess here? What is the energy of this high priestess? The two of swords, let me ask again. What's the energy of the high priestess? What is the energy of this high priestess? The strength card, that's Leo energy. 
yeah why is the strength card here oh the hermit listen if you don't do this if you don't get out of this earrings don't don't disclose any of your new whereabouts like what you're where you're going what you're doing like i think you need to really withdraw from this person gosh what why what who is this person the hermit why is the hermit here you need to go within you need to withdraw seriously i know i know you need the strength this is not going to be easy for you to do but i think it's time why is the hermit here i think you know that it's time with the high priestess you might know this why is the hermit here virgo energy five of cups you're still dwelling on the past you got to move on from it You got to move on from this, Aries. It's time. It's time. That's it. That's your that's your title. It's time. <laughs> if you resonate with it, um I mean, I could go into further detail with that title, but it's time. It's don't but it's crucial that you understand do not, I repeat, do not tell this person what you're doing, where you're going. They don't know. They should know nothing else about you moving forward. Okay? But it's time. Now is the time. Because there's something here you're going to miss out on. Let's see. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? Let's try it. Let me ask again, Spirit. Why is the Four of Cups here? Whoa. Why is the Four of Cups here, Spirit? Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? Okay, the Ten of Wands. What's the energy of the Four of Cups? What's the energy of the Four of Cups? Thank you. So we have the stars and the six of pentacles in the reverse, which talks about like something being a delay. Listen, the more it's like the longer you stay in the situation that you're in, the longer it's going to take for you to get to. There's something here that's very special. I, I don't know. I, I, I feel it. I can kind of see it without seeing it directly in the cards, but there's something you've wished for, you've prayed for. Because Spirit is telling you to go and do your thing, right? Because because the, you're, you're going to miss an opportunity if you don't do this. This is the advice. And when I get this, like, you know, six of... Like the six of pentacles in the reverse is like something being delayed. Okay? Like it's something is not going to grow. Something's not going to change. Like you staying where you are, it's, it's, it's keeping, it's, uh, it's not allowing destiny or fate to happen. There's something better for you, Aries. There's something out there that is meant for you, but you're holding yourself back from that great thing. Like, like when spirit, like what I, okay, spirit is literally saying forget the past, but I feel like it's like forget the past, forget it, forget it. You know, don't keep in touch. Don't, um, you know, like make sure they have all of their stuff. Make sure you have all of your stuff. Make sure you closed all the bank accounts. This is for those of you who are married or you have some sort of a tie. Now, I know some of you have children, okay? That's difficult because you have to communicate with this person, but not really, not really, especially if your kids are able to use a cell phone and communicate and be like a messenger between you and their parents. <laughs> I'm just saying I did it as a kid. My parents didn't even really talk unless it was something very serious going on with me and they had to talk. But other than that, for those of you who are not 
parents and do not have kids and you have ties, make sure you sever everything because spirit is telling you, don't even tell this person what's going on with you. Like you need to get out of there, go do your own thing because there's something here waiting for you. There's something here that's not going to flourish or grow. Okay, it's going to be delayed and you're going to miss something if you don't. Something you want, something you wish for and hope for and pray for is waiting for you. So it's time. It's time. Move on. Let the past go. Okay, no more this uh, hesitancy, hesitation. It's time. And you know this. I, I know that you know this. All right, Aries, that's all I have for you. Good luck with this situation. It's time. <laughs> all right. And um, thank you guys for tuning in. Again, don't forget to subscribe and hit the, the thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Mwah. Deuces.